Cassandra, get over here, you spineless jellyfish, you. Malak, if it isn't the eagle bearer herself. You got big since Kefalonia. And you got old Photios the dog's breath. Last time I saw you, I think I lit your ship on fire. <laughs> my ship and my beard. These days, thankfully, I've semi-retired. Do people pay mercenaries here more than they did in Kefalonia? <laughs> of course they do. Better than my... <laughs> you are always reliable. Deadly and drachmi hungry, but reliable. So I'm hunting priests. Where do I start? Mm, priests aren't used to thief business. They probably hid somewhere quiet. Check the caves west of here. I wouldn't expect priests to be jewel thieves. They didn't take the drachmi or the silver. They knew those sapphires were the most valuable things here. That's priest knowledge. Shouldn't be long before I find them. Amistios, well, aren't you a sight to my aged eyes? Young, energetic. Perhaps I should just pay for your body instead of your help. Watch yourself. That's not my line of work. Oh, forgive me. I'm amazed the gods would send me someone so well suited to help me, but who is also so appealing to me physically. I'm glad to hear it. Korigos, my husband, is having some difficulties keeping up with my hunger for pleasure. I imagine any man would. Oh, I have many lovers, but he's my soulmate. When we're together, it's indescribable. Then don't describe it. When we were younger, we would run into the moonlit forest, shed our clothes, and pleasure each other until sunrise. Our howls of ecstasy would echo throughout the valleys. Why the gods, woman? I said spare me the details. I wasn't expecting a tough-looking mercenary to be so squeamish about a little fun. What does this have to do with me? I've learned of a powerful elixir, which if consumed will give someone the vigor and stamina of Eros. If you can gather me the ingredients, I can make it for my husband. All right, I'll find the ingredients. If you promise to keep your nocturnal activities to yourself. I have some drachmi, and Koragos has more. If you can bring me some bear scrotum and a deer tongue, I can make the elixir. Oh, is that all you need? Don't worry, I'll reward you well. I'm sure Koragos will be thankful also. Where can I find a bear near here? I heard there's a cave near the sanctuary that a large male bear has claimed. Are there any deer nearby? This is for keys. There's deer all over the place. This elixir sounds odd. Where did you learn about it? Why, the Pythia told me about it. She's so wise solving a problem I didn't even know I'd have. I'll be back with the ingredients soon. <laughs> Ε, 
קלון עם מפאה, הקלעות. This must be the cave Photius mentioned. Those priests came this way. sold at no discount. Meet at the Spino Fort for the sale. Well, I know where I'm headed next. Fort to the south. I see them.
Here they are. Bit of blood on them. But the sapphires still shine. What kind of elixir uses ingredients like this? Who would drink an elixir made from this? Good news. Found the Zaphires. Should I ask why they're bloody? Well, the priests couldn't cut it as thieves. <laughs> if I were only a little bit younger, I might have tried to cheapen the reward a bit. Good thing you got old. <laughs> Here's a little trinket from the treasury. No one will miss it. Let's hope not, or you'll send another mercenary after me. Goodbye, Photios. <laughs> If you ever see that dog, Marcos, again, tell him you demand minimum wage. Is the 
Dios, you're back! And not a moment too soon. I got what you asked for. Who is this of Xesia? This is the Mistios who's going to reignite our spark, my love. Oh, no! We've been through this. I can't satisfy you anymore. You're going to kill me with your lust. Nonsense! I'm going to make you an elixir that will give you the vigor of a man a fraction of your age. God save me! I cannot do this anymore! By all the gods, will somebody pay me? If I hear any more of this talk, I'm going to be sick. Bah, young people. They don't understand through love. Here, this should be more than enough. Why, thanks. Come, Gorgos. I'll mix the elixir. You get the oils ready. Does it hurt like a bear biting you? Or a mouse? Like three mouses. No, like four. Ah, so a puppy bite sized hurt. Got it. Will the hurt go away? Tell you what, you have to scare it away. If you roar like a lion, it'll run. <laughs> Good job. Now run along home. You must be a physician. Yes, I'm Lycaon. You must be a Mystheus. Are you here for treatment? Play acting instead of medicine. When I'm wounded, I prefer to see someone serious. The gods and the medicines they give us can do little when a patient has no hope. That's the best treatment I can give. You've thought this through. You look strong and prepared for anything. My patients need mandrake herbs. There's a part of them growing by a little stream southeast of here. Are you too busy to pick them? Too chewy. A pack of wolves is resting near the stream. I'll pay you generously for your trouble. You know how to talk to Amistios. Is that all you want? The mandrake herbs? For now. Bring them back to me, and I'll pack at them for my patients. Then we'll see. I'll bring you the herbs. You said they were southeast of here. Yes. By a little stream northeast of Kira. The flowers haven't bloomed yet. But the leaves are a distinctive grey-green. Thank you. Lycaon said the herbs would be near a little stream. That looks like it. These must be the herbs Lycaon wanted.
Mandrake herbs? Time to go back to the physician. Here, I found your herbs. Thank you. I'll prepare these for my patients. Could you please stay a while? I'll wait. I've crossed the herbs so they'll be easier to take. Could you please bring them to my patients? Just tell them they're for me, Likaun. I thought I brought you more herbs than this. I needed to save a double dose for my grandmother. I'll give it to her soon. Sure. I'll just deliver the rest, then. Thank you. All my patients are in or around the Hora of Delphi. One should be at the animal pens to the west. One is building a house in the northeastern corner. And, uh, one works in the fields to the south. Come back here when you're done. I'm sure I can find them. Gaon sends his regards. The medicine he promised. Thank you. Tell me, did he look well? He didn't look sick to me. I've seen him up and walking around at all hours mumbling to himself. He seems worried. I should bring him some sweets to cheer him up. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. Likaon made this medicine for you. Thanks. See, I take care of these beasts, and Likaon takes care of me. Too bad nobody takes care of him, though. What do you mean? His parents died young. His grandmother raised him, but then... she was born under a cursed star. Never mind that. He's a good boy. I'm sure he is. These herbs are from Likaon. Oh, thank you! That physician is so thoughtful! And so handsome! It's too bad he's decided not to marry. Why not? He just told me some nonsense about not wanting to burden an innocent woman with his worries. Personally, I just wish he'd been honest and said I'm not his type. I wonder why he'd say that. I delivered all your medicine. Seems you have a lot of people concerned for your well-being. Thanks. Um... My grandmother, Praxithea, I have to bring her the last of the medicine. Will you come along with me to her house? I think I need your help. Yes. I'd like to know what's going on here. Oh, thank you. Please, my grandmother's house is this way. Thanks for coming with me. Why do you ask me that? If someone is impious to the point of doing grave injustice to people as well as the gods, do they not deserve punishment? What did Praxithea do? She spoke false prophecies for years. Those who came to her for advice received only lies. Your grandmother was an oracle? Yes, up on the hill in Delphi. She confessed to me recently that she never heard the gods and only repeated the words she was told. 
told by vile people with evil intentions. Exactly. Wars have been fought over those words. She can't be left unpunished. I... My family was torn apart by a false prophecy. If it was one of hers, I may take matters into my own hands. Likaon, I know what you want to do. You'll just bring more shame on our family. I don't want to do this, Agavi. But for the sake of justice, we can't let Praxithea live. It's out of our hands anyway. Some strange men were searching the village today, looking for her. I brought them here, and they dragged her away. What kind of justice is that? You won't understand. She was an impious old fool. Now we have nothing more to worry about. Who are you anyway? I'm Cassandra. I've also been wronged by a false prophecy. It might have been your grandmother's. If we don't find her, we can't settle any of this. Please, help me figure out where she's been taken. I'll look for clues. What did you expect me to do? All that talk about killing? A solution showed up, so I took it. That wasn't the way it was supposed to happen. She's my responsibility, not yours. Praxithia must have lost this bracelet in the struggle. But no ordinary thief would have left something so valuable behind. This looks like a contract. Deliver the package to the drop-off and don't damage it. If they mean Likaon's grandmother, chances are she's alive. strange going on around here? Well, if bandits taking over my cousin's farm is strange, yes. What did they do? Gave her a running start. She can't go back there. They've set up camp, and they're armed and dangerous. Interesting. Where is that farm? It's not far west of here, but I wouldn't mess with those bandits. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> Praxithea was kidnapped and brought to a farm west of here. The bandits were hired to deliver her alive. Well, thank you for figuring that out, Cassandra. I'm no fool, Likaon. Your sister put Praxithea in great danger, and you've been asking me about killing. Do you want me to end her life? No. It has to be me. I need to kill her. You're no killer. I am. If she's done the harm you've said she has, then it sounds like you need my services. She's my responsibility. I don't want her to suffer. That's why I asked you for Mandrake. It's a painkiller. But for now, will you go to the farm to stop those bandits? I don't think I can take them all on myself. Let's go find Praxithea. Thanks, Cassandra. You said the farm was to the west. I'll meet you there.
must be the farm where Praxitia is being held prisoner. Let's get away from here. Could more bandits be coming? Please, let's get out of here. For saving me, dear child. Don't thank me, voice of Apollo. Or were those someone else's words you spoke? So you've met my grandson. You're right. I lied to everyone. I am so sorry. The gods should have killed me by now. Instead, they made me live with my remorse. Why did you spread lies? People trusted you. You were supposed to bring them the word of Apollo. I didn't plan to, not when I was chosen to be the Oracle of Apollo. But I met people there who told me I must speak the words they asked, or else my family would suffer for my disobedience. Family? Do you remember telling a Spartan family that their younger child must die? A grieving mother with eyes like mine. I am so sorry for what you have lost. Who wanted you kidnapped? These brutes didn't come up with the idea themselves. Please, don't ask me that. The ones who want to punish me now, the ones who told me what to say, they would bury you alive if I told you about them. The ones with masks and dark cloaks. The cult of Cosmos. Do not speak their name. Did she tell you? Is she the oracle who brought ruin on your family? I'm sorry for what I've done. I accept my punishment. But please, don't let my grandson kill me. Likaon's a good man, a healer. This would break him. No, this is my responsibility. I must be the one to end her. I've killed enough people to know that violence has no end. 
Better to move on, and make the best of the lives the gods have given you. Move on? But you said Praxithea ruined your family. She can do no more harm. Killing her for revenge won't change what happened. Besides, didn't you tell me something about hope? Thank you for your mercy. I promise I will do good with what's left of my days. You're right, Cassandra. I might not be able to forgive my grandmother, not right away. But she can go on with her life, and I with mine. I think you've made the right decision, Ligaon. Ah, oh, how do you do this? Decide who lives and who dies. How do you do it, Ligaon? All those lives depending on you, needing your healing and kindness. I... I, I think I need you, Cassandra. Not to kill anybody or find anything. Just to stay with me. I'm no healer, but I think you've been through a lot, Ligaon. You don't need a mistress in your life. Go back home, and be the physician you're meant to be. Thank you for helping with my grandmother. I'm not sure I can ever forgive her, but we must both get past her lines. <laughs>